Good morning everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Admas character of our world around us and this time we will talk about Vikings mm, but this won't be the story that is in line with the common view of Vikings you know, blonde and uh, red hair guys with uh, helmets with horns on the both sides not really, it won't be the case because it will be a real story. I mean, I would like to talk about the book uh, written uh, about five, six years ago or seven years ago by Icelandic writer and columnist, Mr. Uh, Bergsvein Birgison. I think I do not pronounce the surnames correctly, yeah, the Scandinavian surnames. He wrote a book about his uh, uh, ancestor who was living in the second half of 9th century and first seven years of the 10th century AD. And the uh, hero is, uh, the hero of this book was called Gunnar Heliarskin and he was typical child of his days. Uh, he was the son of, uh, of course, uh, Scandinavian Norse warlord who actually was later in the relationship we married to a lady uh, that was coming from the shores of the White Sea and her origin um, was uh, coming from the nation that it's regarded uh, as a um, direct ancestors of nowadays nation that still lives at the shore of the White Sea called Nenets. These are Mongoloid people with slanting eyes so our uh, hero Gunnar Heliarskin, of course 100% Viking, was the mm, son of such a woman, Nenets, we, sh we should say princess, or I would say daughter of the warlord, and son of the Scandinavian warlord from modern day uh, Norway. And we know what happened in circa 1872, most likely a little bit later, most likely, the Norway was united by the Harald uh, Ferher and many warlords who didn't want to accept his <laughs> leadership, his rule, were expelled from the Norway. So just they had to find a new place to live. They found Iceland. And uh, I really like this book by Mr. Bergsvein Birgison because he simply crushes the foundation myth of I Iceland that I Iceland, that people who were expelled by the brutal despotic Harald de Ferher, these warlords, settled down on Iceland and established equal society with first, one should say, parliament called Ulting, and equality and prosperity and paradise was blooming and they were living happily. Some of, they, some of them, of course, were living happily in I Iceland, but there are Mm, few facts confirmed by history. Iceland was not completely empty, was not abandoned because Irish monks were knowing this place and many of them were living there as Eremites those days. Uh, and also the uh, so-called democracy with Ulting in the, those days Iceland was not so democratic because these guys were warlords used to war and used to having people who were working on them so they were just organizing many rights to uh, actually kidnap some people to turn them into slaves mainly from Ireland and Scotland and also as refugees uh, uh, from Norway that they had to flee uh, from the people of Harald the Farher they, they were missing women. So genetics beautifully proves that majority of women uh, from whom I, uh, modern Icelanders come from have uh, uh, Celtic origin, uh, Celtic, because uh, the mitochondrial genetic material we know that we inherit after our moms. So their grand, 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 grandfathers had to kidnap their grand 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 grandmothers and uh, th with them they simply produce kids that gave the beginning to the Icelandic nation. But genetics also proved that some uh, grannies came from the Nenets, 
nation of Iceland dick people that's why many Icelandic ladies have this beautiful dark eyes despite being blonde and so on so here we have the explanation and Mr. Uh, Birgisson also gives the evidence that some families it's proven come from the lady who originated from the territories of North Am America so actually uh, she originated from Northern American Indians so this beautiful book gives us a realistic picture of Vikings that in contrast to this what we have in common imagination were not only blonde or red hair guys just looting and killing and uh, burning everything actually once they were traders where when opponents were too strong and once they were bandits when they were assuming that they could de defeat the potential opponents and hijack their goods. But uh, these groups were much diverse. Of course, they were, of course, blonde and red hair guys, but not only. There were also guys like our uh, hero of the book, Gunnar Hellier Skin, and many others. And we will see that also all of the myths of the folkish movement of Germany of typical blonde, pure Scandinavians, racially the purest. Okay, we can put it in between the fairy tales, but the reality is much more complex and much more interesting. And the same thing we should do with the very democratic and very full of equality myth of Icelandic foundation. Leave it as a myth. And I'm really happy that such book was created. I don't know if it was translated into English. I was so lucky to get it into translation, uh, get it in translation into my native language. I hope that soon it will be translated into English because it really puts some new and good light of reality into the sophisticated wor world of Norse people. Very good work. And shows us the a geographical exploration they were doing why they were just going to the uh, territories areas of the white sea because they were looking for the morses because they needed their tusks and their skin uh, and their and their grease to especially skin and grease to just build their uh, enormous and fantastic ships which were high tech of those days and morses uh, they are uh, sensitive animals, so if they were killed, someone was hunting for them, they were just withdrawing more and more into north. And uh, traveling there, they were traveling most likely without women. They had to take women from the tribes they were meeting there. So now we have an uh, explanation of many, many um, things that were looking Susp uh, that are looking suspicious when we look at even modern Scandinavian societies. Past real history is much more interesting than any myths or uh, common opinions about it. That's why it's worth to investigate the past with real facts, because the reality is the most interesting. So, a uh, book uh, entitled in original The Black Viking about the Gunnar Hel Helierskin by Mr. Uh, Birgvein Birgison. It's highly recommended. I hope that soon it will be translated into English. All the best. Bye.